Hey guys, David Lemon here. I just wanted to let you know some of the changes we did for Groove Member. We have some new additions, improvements, and some fixes. So to start off, let's just log into Groove Member and head over to Content Memberships. This is the screen where you will see your memberships. And if you click over to the Actions button, now you can see that there are settings added on here. So if we click on the Settings option, this will give us the domain settings so you can put in the name the subdomain and then also you can manage your custom domains this means we added on custom domain settings for your memberships and similarly to the portals so in case you have any portals created or if you are creating a new portal you will see this option for setting up a custom domain if you would like to add on a custom domain, you do that from the upper right hand side hamburger menu, my account and then domains. You add a new domain over here and you just choose either one of these options for group member memberships or group member portal in order to connect it. The domains are connected to Groove Member as with any other platform that we have, Groove Blog, Groove Cell, Groove Pages, so that you can follow that training. But there is another video that you can watch just below this one where I show exactly step by step how to connect your custom domain or custom subdomains to Groove Member memberships and portals. So have a look into that one in case you're interested how to connect your domains to Groove Member. If we head over to the portal and we just get a login link to the portal, we did some improvements on here as well. So let's just copy over the login link and let's just paste and go to this login link. And over here you can see just a demo login, uh, login for the portal. But what we did is we made it mobile responsive. So in case you you just have a smaller screen and you want to preview the portal on a smaller screen it will nicely align to smaller screens as well so on bigger screens we show more options like three blocks or three cards next to each other and the smaller the screen is the smaller number of these cards we will show this is the tablet version and this is how it would show on a mobile so as you can see it is nicely aligned all the cards all the membership login pages or these uh, cards are nicely lined up one uh, below the other we have login option the logo and then here is your kind of slider or the featured image that you set up so that's kind of it we made the portals mobile responsive and now it looks beautiful on each and every device we also did an improvement where the builder breaks when user drags the home page down to use it as a normal category in the builder so some of the users were trying to use the home page and, and just pull it down and just use it as a normal page but the home page has a specific functionality that sometimes broke the actual builder when you, you try to drag it down so that is not possible anymore you can drag any other category subcategory post you can drag them between over here as well but it's not possible to use the home option and uh, and drag that down anywhere else we also did some fixes if you if you toggled the switch to turn the progress bar on it showed if you toggled it off it still showed so that was a fix now if you want to to have the progress bar to show it will show if you don't want it you can switch it off very easily in the in the options where you're editing in the membership setup wizard we also had in certain cases that the membership outline this name was missing on here so it just showed the home and the and the rest of the outline the the menu but it didn't show the name it looked a bit strange and we also had some portal landing page mismatch whenever you set up a a, a link so somebody is not a member of that uh, that membership yet the landing page was not directing the users to that specific link that is set up in the wizard uh, for the for the membership url that has been fixed now and this came out with this deployment so here you go guys uh, not a lot of features but big features that will make big difference so custom domains for your portals and memberships and also portal responsiveness which is a very big feature let me know in the comments what you think about that and if you have any questions